Sundays on the IFL TV in association with MGM Marbella. I'm here at the York Hall in Bethnal Green with Tony Conquest. He just had a, I want to say tough, but it is a bit of a easy ride for you, an eight round fight against an opponent who didn't really want to throw back. Was it frustrating for you? Very frustrating. I'm, I'm hoping, <coughs> fingers crossed, to get some sort of title fight next. But, uh, you know, stinkers like that, because that fight was an absolute stinker. Some people said it looked alright from ringside because I didn't against the ropes, but all the bloke was doing was just tucking up and just leaning against the ropes and just didn't want to commit to anything. He, did, he didn't want to fight and he wanted to survive. So. Was it frustrating doing <coughs> Yeah, it's very frustrating when you're trying to trying to box and trying to fight and the other geezer doesn't really want to fight. It's, it's very frustrating, but uh, you know, just to keep your composure, keep your hands up, don't lose me tempo, which oh, I never do anyone, I'm pretty, pretty, uh, pretty chilled. And um, yeah, just keep composed, like Jason is saying in the corner, like you, there's not much more you can really do. So we, I tried sitting back, letting him throw a couple of shots, get a little bit confident, and even then, he went back onto the ropes and just tucked up and just well, there, there wasn't much target. The only target I had was either the back of the head or the back, so I couldn't really work. So are you, are you a bit tired or you feel fine? No, I feel like I haven't done anything. I've done eight rounds. I, I have stuck, like, sparring in the gym at Miles Shinkwin, which is hundred times harder than what I've just had in that fight. So yeah, I could feel like I could die and go running. So is that the second fight you've had since you had the unfortunate loss against Oville? Yeah, it's always yeah, the yeah, second fight back because I, I actually wasn't going to come back for a long time. I actually decided oh, that, 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 that was going to be uh, yeah. that was going to be my lot. But I come back and uh, yeah, I've had two wins since I've been back. Don't feel too bad. Jason's quite happy with performances, so yeah, fingers crossed we'll go on now and need more time. I'm just a plan. Does that still stop, play at the back of your mind? Them two losses, or have you forgot about it and moved on? You never forget about. It. I mean, I've still got amateur losses that I think about. You know, you never, you never get over your losses because they stick with you. They make you train harder. But obviously, the Neil Dawson whitewash was uh, a big kick in the teeth because I was unbeaten in ten. I was flying around, just won that WBO that national belt and got ranks in the WBO top ten in front of Roy Jones Jr. And it was, it was like a dream come true because I only had twenty or amateur fights, so no one expected me to do that. Right? And uh, then obviously there was the. Uh, the rebuilding after Neil Dawson and then the crash of defeat to Overlook. But on the, the form he's been on since scalping John Lewis Dickinson in two rounds and then beating Matty Askin, who's a quality fire over 12 rounds, he's on good form, so there's no disgrace there. And, and he's a nice fellow, which makes it. He, is, he cooks some nice food as well. Yeah, he does. If you got him on Facebook, it's all he does, it's literally just food, food, food. We spoke a long time ago about me going down to Sparham before, before like, we obviously boxed, and he was. Uh, he was telling me that he does cook traditional food <laughs> and I said, do you do dumplings? And he said, yes. So from that day I've liked him. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't mind you go around his house with dumplings now? I go around his house with dumplings, yeah, but I do want my burger back. <laughs> yeah, mate, do you reckon that's a possible fight you would look into? Um, I'd, I'd like to think so. I mean, I've heard rumours now that he's fighting Ola Afalabi and that's, that's a barn burner. That'd be, I mean, I'd pay to go and watch that. That'd be terrific for as long as it lasts. It'd yeah. be a good fight. But um, yeah, I mean, Obviously that's always a possibility because no one's queuing up to fight over him. People don't want to fight him. He's dangerous, you know, he wants to fight, he comes to fight. And he, he puts it all on the line when he fights. So there's not many people queuing up and it's, it's a big risk. But I'd, I'd love to be sitting there. Like, I've always prided myself on fighting good fighters and fighting dangerous people when I have to. And yeah, I, I relish the chance to them now. I go, yeah, definitely. Looking back on that obviously devastating loss to Dawson, like you said, what would you have done different if you went back to that sort of night? Um, I wouldn't have rushed out of changing room like I did, and because uh, there was a lot that went on that night behind the scenes. Mitchell Smith was on first, and I was on second. I was on one after the other, so I didn't really warm up on the pads. I, I had someone else doing my bandages, and by the time they run in to tell me to go to the ring, I'd only just take the gloves up, stone cold. I mean. I mean, you might have caught me and clipped me and stopped me anyway, but you've seen from like the fights with uh, Wadi Camacho, where I'm warm and I get clipped and go over, because I do go over, I, uh, I pull myself together and get back up and crack on, you know, it's, it's what you've got to this boxing, isn't it? It is. Well, good luck with the future. I hope you get that belt title fight. I know you want to go home and have a run, because you're not that tired, are you sick? <laughs> yeah, I just, uh, just felt like it wasn't really, uh, wasn't really an exhausting fight. It was just... Well, you can't moan because it's another win on the record and they all count. And it's good. It's good experience. You've got the rounds under your belt. 
Who is that? Yeah, and you can't buy experience. Yeah. But you can buy Toby Carberry, which I always see you doing. Yeah, I know. It's straight to everyone, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, mate, thanks for talking to iFilm and enjoy your roast on Sunday. Thanks.